Hey everybody, Joshua here. It's time for another tool changer update. Okay, let's talk about a couple things. Uh, motor mount, uh, some cleanup, and then some geometry changes. Uh, yeah, okay, so first off, the motor mount, um, that's just a PLA again, nothing special, two pieces. Well, first the motor mount and then the actual pulley just had a couple changes in geometry. It's nice because this has a hard stop, so when I'm actually maxed out, I'll feel it here. The motor um, is actually going to be driven by the TMC2660. I'm going to use the stall detection feature so that when I actually hit here, I'm going to be able to detect that on the driver's side and just stop rotating. Um, that's also useful over here because when I actually lock a tool, I'll be able to detect that I'm locked. Um, as far as the cleanup goes, um, I've got my spring guide coming out and then it goes into this nylon sleeve. This looks and feels, ah, feels really good and it looks, looks very professional. Uh, this uh, heat shrink here is to prevent that nylon sleeve from fraying because it's, it's this braided material. And then over here, I've just uh, zippy tied it. And then finally, the spring guide very cleanly goes into this gentle radius that then hard stops in the inside of this part. Uh, this took about a, no, one or two prints to get this right, but this now this is coming out pretty consistently, so I really like that. Okay, um, uh, let's talk about tool changes now. Uh, this absolutely feels just awesome. Um, I'm really jazzed. So uh, to give you a quick demo, Simply load my tool, boom. Oh wait, if I can see what I'm doing. There we go, boom. Uh, apply the lock. Um, my motor detects a stall. It stops locking, and this is not coming out. It's, oh, it feels good. It's not even flexing. That's well, as far as I can tell. Um, so this feels really solid. Finally, when I want to unlock that, go the opposite way, and ta-da! One more time. Lock. Engage. Ruh, struggle. But to no avail. Okay, finally unlock. Oops. And we're loose. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Um, so, finally, uh, the last piece of information for the week. Uh, on this side, um, I have changed a bunch of the geometry here. Uh, originally, I made a video about how this was actually really uh, flexible. Um, so this piece was longer, this piece was also skinnier. Um, so what I've done is, um, so uh, as far as what was happening there, when I applied a load this way, this whole thing would flex backwards like that. And that's not okay. Uh, if you're accelerating a lot, this thing's gonna ring or vibrate. Um, it's also not great if I have bigger and bigger loads. This is eventually, this, the geometry or the dimensions are gonna change. That's, that's not great. So what I did is, like I said, made this skinnier. So now we don't have so much of a beam. And then I made this bit also a bit fatter. Uh, this is also one piece instead of two pieces. And that's nice because this section just bolts directly on. So as long as you've got a ball head screwdriver or a ball head hex key screwdriver, you should be good to go as far as uh, screw driving that in. Uh, yeah, that's about it for now. Um, so hopefully in about a week, I'll get that driver written and um, we'll see where this goes. Um, so yeah, cheers and uh, I'm, I'm excited. Hope you are too. All right, bye.